Hello everyone. How's everybody doing this morning? Um, welcome to Friday. Welcome to Friday, guys. Um, and um, I would first like to begin um, by saying that um, when you hear so often people say, and it's mentioned a lot, a lot, about the knife community and what the knife community um, is about and how they help people and um, just, how, just how good the knife community really is. The people in the knife community are just great people. And I happened to find that out firsthand. Um, yeah, I'm an emotional guy too. Um, I'm like JB. Um, once I get talking about uh, touchy, touchy things, I get a little emotional. Um, a few pe people reached out to me last night personally and text, they found my number from Gary, good old Gary. What a heck of a guy he is, too. Um, they got my number from Gary. Gary had my number. And long story short, he forwarded, he forwarded my number to them. And all of a sudden, last night, I'm laying in bed, watching TV, doing what I'm doing, and a text message came across. And it, my, it alerted me that a text message went off, and I looked at it. And no other than who it was, was Grateful Panic. Grateful Panic. He reached out to me asking me if I was okay. He reached out to me asking me if I was okay. He heard in some of the videos that I put out that I seemed a little down and that I seemed a little, you know, and I am extremely having difficult times right now. But that's besides the point. We're not talking about that right now. But it was the point that he picked up on that. And he went as far as getting my number and called me personally and text messaged me. It gets better. It gets better than that. So we talked for a while. Back and forth a little bit and this, that, and the other. And I, I just, I just, I just couldn't thank him enough. And as we're talking, I get a text message that comes across again from NebuCloud. Yes, he shoots me a test me test text message, you know, hey Pete, you know, just just reaching out, seeing how you're doing. You know, you you seem kind of down in your videos and. I was just seeing if you were all right. Not one, but two people actually reached out to me. I, 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 it just blew my mind. It's still blowing my mind. I was laying in bed. I was like, what? How did they get my number? Like, how did they get my number? But it was just a... It was just a beautiful thing, and 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 you know, I, I, I the knife community is really is really a great bunch of people. They real you guys are really. I tell you, caring is an understatement. I mean, the care the the the, the way people care. I mean, people really do care. I just wanted to thank them both once again. 
and, and let the rest of the community know what happened last night and let them know that they, I mean, I just, they reached out to me and they were just, you know, they, they knew that they, they heard in my voice or something that I was going through trouble sometimes. Yes, I sp I touched on it a couple of times. Yes, I'm going through problems right now. Um, with my mother-in-law, I can't talk that loud. Um, I'm having problems with my mother-in-law. I'm not getting along with my mother-in-law and it's causing major problems with my wife and I right now. And my mother-in-law and I can't get on, on a page where we, we, we could, we could be civil. I mean, I'm trying but last Saturday was, you know how everybody has their point? Well, last Saturday I made a mistake. I don't even, I'm not apologizing for myself. I didn't make a mistake. I lashed out, okay? So if I'm that bad of a guy because I told her the way it was and I told her off and I got a little loud and maybe I used a couple of curse words, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I've had enough. I've had enough. 20 years. I'm sorry, 15. 15 years of her. We just don't get along, and that's fine. That's fine. I accept that. That's okay. That's okay. But last Saturday, it came to a surface. It came to a head last Saturday. And my wife is just not having it right now. Uh, she, we're both still, as of right now, we are still highly, we're, 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 it's like pins and needles around here right now, okay? And I, I don't know if I told you guys quickly, I'll touch on it again. A few months back, you guys all know that my Doberman pincer had a torn ACL. We brought her in for surgery. We did the surgery. We brought her home. Then it becomes therapy in the pool. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff after the dog gets this major surgery. It cannot walk. You have to walk it. It's got to be kenneled for weeks. You have to minimize it's walking, all this stuff. When it goes to the bathroom, you got to carry it. I got to carry it down the steps off my deck, put it down on the ground, and I got to walk her slowly. I got to manage everything. I have a two-story house. When we go upstairs at night, I got to carry 100 pounds in my arms up the steps, up the steps, and then if she's got to go to the bathroom, then I got to bring her back down the steps. Then I got to bring her back up. I can go on and on and on and on how difficult that surgery is for me and the animal. She just tore and she just tore the ACL in her other leg, ladies and gentlemen. She just did. We're not even through this surgery. And last week, I'm looking around. I, I, I'm bringing her in, and she's got her foot up in the air. And I said, are you kidding me? I said to myself, and I knew right away because it didn't look right. And she really had it up in the air. And she still has it up in the air, and she's, she, she um, lets a little cry out every once in a while. I know it's more than a sprain. We have a, an appointment this week to take her to the same orthopedic doctor we were just at a few months ago, not even a couple months ago. Everything the same again we're doing. We are doing everything over again. It's all being over, it's all being done over again. And the money, the money, guys, come on. You're talking like after all said and done with the medications that you have to give them for pain, everything else, 
it's like an $8,000 surgery. And then after all said and done and everything that you got to put out in between that they eat you for, it's like $10,000. So within a couple of months, we're going to put out $20,000 for a dog. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep it together. I'm trying. I'm trying. But with my mother-in-law, that, that just happened with her. And now my dog. And it, it's just not good. Let's move on. Let's not cry anymore, huh? Let me not be woe is me. I hate that woe is me Pete stuff, you know? I, I don't, I hate, you know, I'm a man. I can handle it. I can take care of it. When problems arise, I can figure it out. I can get through it. I can do this. Anyway, my good friend William from William's Knife Life um, requested a little something from me. He asked me if he's interested in buying some tribal locks, a case tribal lock, and a case copperhead. He wanted to know if I could show him a few. Uh, William, I only have one um, uh, copper uh, copper lock. I'm sorry. I couldn't think of it. But it's a fantastic knife, William. Um, it is just the slenderness of it. The cutting ability on this little piece is fantastic. You could get them in two variants. You, this is the small one. You could get it in the bigger size. You could get all different um, style blade shapes on them. They are great knives. There's no reason why I only have one. It's just <laughs> you can't buy them all. You can't chase them all. But as of right now, I just have one. Look at the thinness on it. The clip is like nothing I've ever... I've never seen a clip that attractive in my life. I mean, it's just... It's mind-blowing when you look at that clip. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. But I, I wasted a lot of time talking about me. So let's move along. This is the Copper Lock. Great piece, William. Um, These are very affordable. These are, well, you know... They're like 50 bucks. Uh, depending on the uh, covers you get and all that. But um, these guys here, these um, tribal locks, they're fantastic knives. But you got to be careful. You got to be careful. The three that I have are all off-centered. Um, there you're looking at it. That's what I mean. It's a shame. You know, with case knives, it's not rubbing, no. No, it's not rubbing on that scale. But it's close to rubbing. And I just want to warn you, if you do get one of these, yes, they're beautiful. They are fantastic um, knives. Um, but um, just be careful. When you get it, I don't want you to get upset if it doesn't come centered and you, know, you gotta, you gotta expect these things. But there it is. That's the tribal lock. And it is, um, it is a really, really, really a fantastic, one of the most fantastic uh, pieces of cutlery that Case uh, put out. Yeah, well, let's, fa let's face it. It's a Tony Bowes, um, it's a Tony Bowes, um, design you know this is a tony bow's design and they're great they're they are beautiful they are beautiful they are beautiful to use they are beautiful to cut with look at the blade everything about it is just beautiful uh i mean spot on they're spot on um but see yeah, she's close, isn't she, guys? She's close to rubbing, but she's... Let me see something. She's not rubbing, but I had to turn it to the side to make sure. That's how close it is. 
So if you get something like this through the mail and you're going to spend, these are rough. This one here is like 70 or 80 bucks. This is like 70 or 80 bucks. And then after you pay the taxes on, I mean, you're looking at a hundred dollar knife close to it, close to it. Unless, unless you score one of these. I just recently got this one. This is the uh, orange Delrin one. And I think that these are like 50. Now you could get into a, um, you could get into one like this for 50. Just with uh, Delrin uh, scales. And, you know, it's a tribal lock. But just not a fancy one. And these are like 50 bucks. I think. This is like on Smoky Mountain or something. I think I got this one. They just came out with this orange color. They never had this orange on a tribal lock. So you might want to you might want to try this one before you jump up into the you know, these are just as good. But you have to like orange. So, I hope that helped you a little bit and um I'm sorry I wasted so much time with uh, uh, talking about me, and uh, but I had to get a few things out there as far as the community goes, and 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 there was I, there was some things that had to be said. So, guys, have a great, great, great uh, Friday. And listen, I don't know where you guys are going, what the weather is going to be like where you are at. But tonight and into tomorrow, 60 mile an hour winds, very, very bad winds here in New Jersey. I'm not sure if it's all over, but I know in New Jersey, we're butting the hatches down, man, here. Because they're, call, they're saying, if you have anything outside, you best bring it in. No rain, nothing like that. Just straight up heavy winds. Okay, guys, once again, have a great weekend. And um, please be well, be safe, be careful out there. And we'll talk on the next one. Thank you guys again. Bye now.